Give your greeting card template the look of perfectly cut paper using the magic of the magic wand tool. This video is being filmed in Photoshop Elements, but the instructions are exactly the same for Adobe Photoshop except were noted. So here we are in Photoshop Elements. I've already created a new document that is 7 inches wide by 5 inches high at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. First, let's turn the rulers on, so in the menu bar, choose View, Rulers to make sure they're on. Then, I've also already opened the WordArt I wish to use. In the downloads for this lesson, you will find three WordArt options for you to choose from. For this video, I'm using the Merry Christmas WordArt, but if you want to use one of the others, the instructions will be the same, so you can follow along using whichever WordArt you wish. Now let's get the Move tool, and then on the document while holding down the Shift key, click and drag the word art onto your working document, and then let go. Now press Ctrl T in Windows or Command T on a Mac to get the Transform options. If you don't see the corner handles of the bounding box, press Ctrl 0 in Windows or Command 0 on a Mac to fit the bounding box to your viewing area. And on the document while holding down the Alt key in Windows or the Option key on a Mac, Click and drag from a corner handle until the word art fits to the edges of the document. It's important to note here that the black part of the word art needs to overlap the document edges. And then once you're done, click the check mark to commit. Now on the document while holding down the shift key, click and drag the word art down until it's roughly two thirds of the way down the document. About there. And that would put the middle of the word at about three and a third inches along the vertical, which is why we have the rulers turned on. So now in the layers panel, click on the name of the word art layer and change it to Xmas word art, and then press enter to commit the name change. The next thing we need to do is create a light gray layer. So to do that, first click on the foreground color chip to open the color picker and choose a light gray color. I'm using hex number CCCCCC and then click OK. Then in the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. Now press Alt Backspace in Windows or Option Delete on a Mac to fill the new layer with the foreground color. And then in the Layers panel, move the light gray layer below the word art layer. Next, we need to create the word split. So in the Layers panel, click on the word art layer to activate it. Then press Ctrl J in Windows or Command J on a Mac to duplicate the word art layer. Now in the Layers panel, click on the first word art layer to activate it. And then in the Layers panel, hold down the Shift key and click on the light gray layer so that both it and the word art layer above it are activated. Now in the menu bar, choose Layer, Merge Layers. Now get the Magic Wand tool and in the tool options, click on the new selection icon, set the tolerance to 32, uncheck sample all layers, but check both contiguous and anti-aliasing. On the document, click once on the light gray portion below the word art to select it, and then press the backspace key in Windows or the delete key on a Mac to remove the unwanted pixels. Then press Ctrl D in Windows or Command D on a Mac to deselect. The last thing we need to do is add a drop shadow. Normally, it's not good design to add a drop shadow to type, but in this case, we're using the word art in such a way that adding a drop shadow adds to the design of the card. So here's how to do it. In the Layers panel, click on the Xmas word art copy layer to activate it. Now in the menu bar, choose Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings, and for Photoshop, choose Layer, Layer Style, Drop Shadow. For Photoshop Elements, in the dialog box, set the lighting angle to 120 degrees and then click the check mark next to Drop Shadow to toggle it open. Set the size to 15, the distance to 7, and set the opacity to 50% and then click OK. For Photoshop users, in the dialog box, set the blend mode to multiply and the opacity to 50%. Set the angle to 120 degrees. Set the distance to 7, the spread to 0, and the size to 15, and then click OK. 
Now all that's left is to save this file. So save this document as a layered PSD file with a unique name. I'm naming mine WordSplit Christmas Card Template.psd. So now that you know how to create the template, let me show you how I chose to customize this. This is how I chose to finish up my Christmas card template. I love how the pattern is in contrast to the solid paper, and using the word art to split the design is just a fun way of adding a new twist to a card. In the downloads for this tutorial, I've included these two papers for you to practice with. I clipped the pattern paper to the light gray layer, and I put the solid paper just above the background layer. Because the papers are made for a 12 by 12 inch document, depending on your settings, you may need to resize the paper smaller so that they look more proportional for the 7 by 5 inch card size. If you need help with how to clip a paper to a layer, please see the manual for this tutorial. In it, I've included a link to the classroom that will take you to the free fundamentals class that has lectures on how to clip papers to layers. So now that you've created this template, I want you to be aware that I've also included a happy birthday and a thank you so much word art in the downloads for this tutorial. So you can follow the same steps as above to create two more card templates if you like. One last note, all three word art pieces were created to fit the 12 by 12 inch document size. So if you wanted to use this idea to create a scrapbook page, you can do that as well. So that's how you create a word split card template. This is Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper.